think how they're basically killing machines. Heidi Cron, executive director of the Center for Animal Research and Education here in Texas, says people who take on these wild animals as pets don't realize the liability and financial commitment. To have one in captivity in someone's personal home is is tragic. On Monday, bark officials and HPD officers came across this female tiger at an abandoned home in southeast Houston. We heard about this tiger through 311, an anonymous neighbor called. After obtaining a warrant, they found her in deplorable conditions. She was friendly, they say, but she was tranquilized for safety reasons as they moved her from that home over to Bark's headquarters. We've made arrangements for the tiger to be transferred to another facility that is licensed to handle exotic pets. Finding a forever home for a tiger is not easy. Kron is currently caring for six exotic animals and it costs more than a million dollars. I try to explain to people that it's a lot like having a child. You know, if you have a sick child, you can have insurance. With these guys, you don't have insurance. She's seen cases where some tigers are smuggled in from Mexico and says, unfortunately, there are small pockets of breeding facilities across the country. It's never a good idea, she says, to keep one as a pet. They're basically a loaded gun pointed at anyone that encounters them. So in the hands of the wrong people, they can be extremely dangerous. Right now, it's unclear what charges, if any, the owner may face. It's all under investigation. Mayra Moreno, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.